What in the name? You already know what time it is. It's time for more The Witcher 3. Man, uh, I kind of feel like I left off on a more awkward spot. I don't usually like leaving off at like a moment like that in the main quest, especially since, you know, we're really about to get into the nitty gritty, but it kind of already been going on for a while and I did some other stuff earlier in the episode. So you'll have to forgive me for that, but that's why I'm back with some more and not too far off than the last one. But if you guys are hyped for more of The Witcher 3, you already know what to do. Hit the like button for your boy and leave a comment for the algorithm. It really does help me out. And of course, subscribing to the channel will keep you notified for when new episodes come out. And it'll help us reach our goal of 50,000 subscribers by the end of summer. With you guys' help, I know we can do it. So without further ado, this is The Witcher 3. What Slow the freak down. is that? Whoa. It dipped. Did I say an Al Ghul? I don't think I've ever run into an Al Ghul before. It's over here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, does it not know I'm here? Whoa, oh, oh, crap. I remember you have to, uh, oh yeah, there you go. That, to make it retract its claw, uh, its tendrils or whatever. Spikes. I saw you, some of you guys were t telling me you were excited for me to get to <laughs> uh, the, this new music and stuff like that. I like that, like, I guess, the area we were in before just had the standard, you know, like different type of threats, music and stuff like that. But I've heard them for so long. I kind of just thought like this was, you know, this is music for uh, bosses. This is music for stronger encounters. This is regular music. That's just kind of what I thought. But yeah, that let me know that. Yeah, there's different music based on the area, which is good, which is good. I'm very glad because not every game does that, believe it or not. So now. I believe we need to go find out what's killing the villagers. Mush. I'm no closer. I know whence you come. Uh. Okay, well, Roach, I'm gonna get the off. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Okay. Dude, I knew there were monsters. Well, they're wolves, but uh, there's no way around it, I feel. I'm going to get ambushed at some point, but... Fang bites. Wolves. I think I may... I think I may have seen what might have caused that. I mean, is it really just... Is it really just... uh? Wolves that are killing the villagers here. Um, I think it's better that I deal with them now. Honestly, what the freak is that thing? Is that a werewolf? Oh, why are my sound effects gone? Oh. Oh, I was not expecting to find a vampire right now. Is this what's killing them? And he can control the the other wolves. I'm not scared of you anymore, bro. Back, I remember when I first started this game, I was like, oh man, how am I gonna deal with this? This game seems hard. I'm sure there's a lot more uh, difficult enemies and stuff coming soon too. Oh, he's calling them. You getting your, your goon squad to come through, bro? Come on, bro, where are your boys? Looks like you need them to me. Hear him. Show yourself, I wanna talk. Uh, it might be better for me to just take him out now. I don't want him to start attacking Roach because I've I have caught wolves and stuff doing that before. 
I guess we're playing Elden Ring a lot recently for the channel. It's, it's, it feels different fighting wolves that don't die in one hit to my katana or something. Wolves are not hard, but there's always groups of them. Ah, oh, okay. There. The dog tallow. Raw meat. Raw meat. There's another one here. Um. Oh, there's actually a a signpost here that counts. Wow. Actually, whatever it is, sounded like it was behind me. Is that, those are the only dogs here. Oh no, there's more. There we go. What what happened? I, I swear that that roar was supposed to like call them unless I just kind of perceived it wrong. Maybe the AI just kind of bugged or something like that and you just couldn't do it. It actually seems like there's something done. Kid. Dang. Yeah, there's a place of power though. Mm, magic. A place of power. Oh. Can I I can't climb over this, so I guess we just got to go around. Uh, there we go. Be gone. I'm just taking a load off real quick. An ability point. Cool. Honestly, let's use that joint right now. Um, too bad the the fast attack's already maxed out. Unfortunately, we have three more, two more that are done though. So, can I actually? No, I, I was wondering if I'd be able to actually upgrade that, but I can't. Um, resolve sounds the best to do it. I mean, arrow deflection's nice and everything, but uh, it'd probably be better to have. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do light. Uh, let's do this one. This one can go up to three. No, 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 no. Upgrade ability. Oh, we unlocked this. Cool. Yes, points. Precise blows, increased chance of landing a fast attack, uh, a fast attack critical hit by 4% and fast attack critical da hit damage by 25%. Adrenaline point gain uh, plus 1%. Crushing blows, increases strong attack critical hit. Okay, same thing, except uh, for strong attacks. Fleet footed, damage from uh, hits received while dodging is reduced by 100%. That's so good. I'll, and high key, that would replace the arrow deflection. Arrow deflection is really nice and stuff. But it's mostly necessary when I'm going up against human enemies, which isn't always. If I just get good and avoid them, I'll be all right. Um, Cold-blooded. Each bolt that hits its target adds 0 .0 0.1 uh, adrenaline points, okay? Undying. When Vitality reaches zero, adrenaline points will immediately can be consumed to restore it. The amount of res uh, restore is based on the number of adrenaline points. Okay, so this is... I, okay, it's basically like a, a, a built-in phoenix down, I guess. I was thinking more undershirt for Mega Man Battle Network, but that only works from a massive attack, no matter how powerful it is, would only take you to one HP and wouldn't kill you. So it's not exactly the same thing. We've been getting a lot of these things and people like the game talks about like fusing them. And I don't I don't know how you're supposed to fuse them. If, if I'm like misunderstanding that uh, or there is a way to do that. Do let me know because I genuinely don't understand where I'm supposed to do that or or how. I, I don't know if they just meant fuse by just putting in another in another slot, but that does not seem like what it's talking about. Hmm. Well, I don't have any more uh, plus a hundred percent. But I don't have any plus a hundred vitality. Unfortunately, that'd be pretty nice, though. But oh, I do right here. Wait. Yeah, I have this is a 50% vitality. Bro, give me that 100. Is there any other ones that are, are similar? No, this is the only one. 100 vitality. Boom, yes, dude. Honestly, I'm doing really good right now for myself. Are these always like colored in like that? I didn't remember. I thought they kind of grayed out when they got used. All right, here we go. Oh. Y'all got a, an orchestra going on in here? Oh, it's so loud. Is there something over there? Oh, they're moving. Ah. Did 
Disgusting. Okay. Okay. Loot. Hey, 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 go get the loot. Get the loot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's mine. Okay. Surface real quick. Okay. Didn't seem like there were any other path, so. Right, are you going to let me get up? There we go. Ready for more breathing stuff. Let me hit F5. What a time to be alive. That's Why it. have you come? Why spill this blood? It's dark. Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? The tree is sentient and it's... You claim I could free you. Found courses on the hill and murder victims. I saw women, children even lying dead on this hill did they want to destroy you to nature to the forest and earth all death is an island every death is equal Disgusting. I, I will none listen who are you who are you I abandoned my circle where I kept the balance the crones killed me and cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circle in Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows, helplessly sliding or rusting me. What do you know about the crones? You must know the crones pretty well. They are Velen's curse. They hear all through severed ears. They weave hair and twist lives. They take their strength from a broth of human flesh. Hmm. Why'd they kill you? Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. Why was I attacked? I was attacked. This is my prison. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await, and my forest protects me. Mm. Murderers? Murderous sisters killed my body. Now my soul they hunt, for I defy them. Is this a turning point where I can choose to free them or I can help the, the sisters, the, the ladies? You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wandered endlessly. A labyrinth of thieves. The children. I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I come the gear. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. Oh, I have a feeling this is a turning point moment kind of thing. Realistically, we only really want to... Uh, we only really want to help the ladies because they're going to tell us more about where Siri is. But I bet you this person can also tell us about them because if Siri was in this area, then they might know something too. I guess it all depends on how long they've been like this, though. I assume this started happening recently, though, because, you know, that's only recently have people been starting going missing and stuff. The kids in the clearing are in danger. I think the kids from the meadow are in danger. The sisters took them. They shall not return. They're going to be made into soup. I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules to Ard Servin. Ard Servin. They shall all die. Let them be saved. Found human corpse on the hillock. Well, said the force was protecting them. Women, children even, lying dead on this hill. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the same thing. The crones, what do you want to know about them? The crones, what do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Velen is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live concealed. You will not find them. They hear all. You cannot hide. Gotta think this over. Part of me feels like I'm thinking constantly about what my viewers <laughs> like. You guys know the right decision here, or maybe there isn't even one, you know. But to me, this the, the to me they the ladies, the sisters, they don't seem like good beings to me. And yeah, th like this may be their realm and they may, old, may be older than everything else, but I don't think they're good. I feel like there's a reason people fear them and stuff like that. Granted, there is, you know, the town that kind of worships them and stuff like that, but they're the ones kidnapping. They kidnap the children and stuff like that. They wanted the sacrifices. And to me, that makes me want to side with this being because I mean, I feel like they're not even like they want help, but they're also telling it like it is. You know, and some people are like, oh, man, you already made that one wrong decision in the Eternal Fire video, you know, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Coming from a perspective of somebody who has never read the books, it might not even know all the lore, you know, regarding this situation, even though I've kind of exhausted the dialogue, I have to make a choice now. Uh, I mean, gotta think this over. We'll probably. I can't decide just yet. You must come back. Free me. I beg you, beware my sentries. They stand guard still. Yeah, like why? Wait. Okay, yeah, my the, it's 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 just to do that. Maybe we need the character entry. Okay. Um. I don't know. Oh, ghost in the tree. Okay. The whispering hillock. If the world were not as it is, but as it should be, this name would denote a place of hidden nooks and lovers sharing heartfelt lies and hushed voices. Instead, it stood for danger and terror for a place where wild animals driven by some mysterious power had killed many and inhabited a, of a many inhabitant of down warden. Uh, Geralt agreed to investigate the problem and soon discovered the animals were controlled by a spirit trapped in a tree growing atop the hill. The spirit once the spirit spoke to him in a woman's voice and claimed to have once been a druidess who had kept watch over Velen Grove until the crones murdered her and imprisoned her ghost in the tree. The force of nature she had once served now protected her from the fiendish sister's further designs. The unfortunate locals had died as collateral damage. For the spirit attested nature's wrath is unrestrained and distinguishes not between wary innocents and unwelcome ill wishers. The spirit uh, begged Geralt to lift her curse of fear from her torment. In exchange, she promised to rescue the orphans from the swamp clearing, who otherwise face a cruel death at the hand of the crones. That itself tells me just freer, you know, that itself. I, I mean, I know that that's basically what I already knew. But again, I, I'm always worried about making the wrong decision. So I'm always going to like second guess myself, you know. So I am glad I read that that uh, entry, though, because now I feel more confident in my decision. You know, I feel more confident in the decision. I feel like that's why they made that decision, too. They they allowed you to say, I got to think it over. I'm back. I've been waiting. You've returned your decision. I long to be free once more. I'll help you. If you can save the orphans from the meadow, I'll help you. I will find them. Free them. Open the door of my cage. Blood is my escape. A rite you must perform. With the black of raven feathers, the white of my bones, and the swift steed. Well, I do have that. Wild and free. In meadows past. Dark as a bottomless well, black as the depths of night. Such a beast, no other. Gather these and bring them here. Your remains. Where will I find your remains? 
My bones, they lie in a solitary mound nearby due west. Horse. Why do we need a black horse? The beast and I shall be as one. As when I lived, we shall be a gill. So she'll come back and as as stop. the horse. A wild steed from meadows moist. Raven feathers. Got some raven feathers. Find my remains and bring me about. A wind born steed. A black squall turned horse. You back once I have everything. I'll gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the hillock's depths, to the tree's rotten heart. Pierce my heart. Let blood flow to be born again. I must first be consumed. Go now and return through the passage I have opened. Yep, and that's the area that... Uh, Okay, never mind. I, I thought it was going to be like uh, that little area we saw moving and stuff earlier. Okay, now we don't got to go through the swimming segment again. Okay. Um, let's go, Roach. Go, it, go. it is unfortunate that people died because of it, but it's not like, you know, they wanted those innocent people to die. Like, like obviously not. Why did you run into that, Roach? Why didn't you follow the dotted line? Okay, I assume we're gonna get into some some That's nasty here. work. Gonna be some drowners here. I assume. Yep. Alright. Come here. There you go. Ow. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is it focused on that one farther away instead of whichever one was closest to me? There you go. What is that in the distance? Oh, that's... That's Roach. I could have sworn there was another one. Guess not. It doesn't look like when you do a finisher on some people, it doesn't seem like you always get loot and stuff from them because you kind of eviscerated them. Hmm. Oh, there's a hag. I am no, I'm not going in with full HP, but she got to get dealt with, honestly, because she's going to get in the way. There you go. What? I dodged. How you like that silver? Geralt, please don't say that when <laughs> don't say that when you <laughs> miss. I love that you can attack cancel in this game. What's up? Nope. We handle those hags pretty good now. We do a ton of damage. Makes you wonder if I kept all this stuff on, how much damage would I do later on in the game? Hmm. Find the bones. Said she was on a, a lone mound. She was buried in a lone mound. Ah, that's it right there. Strange bones. Don't seem human to me. Oh yeah, and we can always use Axie. How close are we to it? Kind of far. Oh, there you are. Roach, don't even try it. Don't even, don't even try it, buddy. It's okay. Don't even try it. I know you and trees do not get along. 
All right, let's go. go. Can we go up this? I really doubt. R Roach. Roach, you really don't want to. Okay, that's what. Ah, let's go. There you go. Place uh, of power. Should draw from it. Place yeah. of power. Wow, we're finding a lot of them these last two episodes. With last episode and this episode. Wait, 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 wait. No, this is the same. Wait, this is the same one. Why is it saying I should draw from it? Ain't no way I can draw from it a second time. I can draw from it a second time. Okay, I was about to say, ain't ain't no way um, I get a second ability point from it. I was like, ah, nah, that's not gonna happen. Mm. Okay, Roach. Let's see if I can get back without having too much trouble. There you are, buddy. All right, it's Mosey. Let's go. What he said. Whoosh. Wait a second. Not so fast, Roach. He said that was a guarded treasure just then. That I passed by. Well, now I kind of have to check it out. I said it when I passed like right here. I heard something growl at me. There it is. I see it. You're kind of. Wait, what? What is that? Is that a? Oh, it's a rock monster. Earth Elemental. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh. Oh. Oh, we do no damage to this guy. How did that not hit me? Wait, wait. Oh. To be fair, we have not. Oh, I was about to. Uh, me and my big mouth. I was about to say. We haven't gotten hit yet, so. Come on. Damn. This might this ain't good for my sword. I might have to dip on this. Let, let's honestly just dip. Let's dip. I I definitely could beat him, but I, it it's not the best idea for that. Do that right now. One, it'll take too long, and two, we're not doing enough damage, and my weapons are already not the greatest in terms of shape right now. I don't remember how to. I don't think there's a crouch button in this game. Okay, well. Oh, uh, well, those ones don't count, I guess. There will be more. Hello? Any horses? Any horses? Oh, another uh, crossroads. Great. Oh. Says there was something just then. Thought I saw one over here, too. Wait, it needs to be a black horse. It needs to be a black horse, and and this does not count. That's not. Is that black? Does that count? Does this count? Does this count as as black, dude? I, and again, I, I can't even always just bl blame blame it on colorblind. This is definitely black. If that's not a black horse. I don't know what a black horse is. All right. And I don't think we can fast travel because this isn't our normal horse. So I'm pretty sure we'll end up losing the horse or something. Hopefully this counts and this isn't a gray horse. Oh, that looked brown to me. That looked, bra that, that looked brown. We can start. 
Lay things amidst the feathers. Place all beneath my heart. My heart, you must pierce and bring the steed. I found human remains. I saw bodies of women and children in the woods. You've killed people who are no threat to you. The wood killed them, for nature is blind. Death is never more than death. Actually, I'm going to kill you. Trick the being in the tree and destroy it. <sighs> Stop doing this to me, game. So I've been sitting here thinking about it. And here's a dilemma. I'm not actually sure I believe this tree anymore because realistically they have this sense almost like their nature itself to where nature doesn't really gauge on a death being worse than another. A children dying isn't a, a children dying isn't worse than an adult dying or even an animal dying. You know, death is a part of nature. It's a natural course. So while these people weren't part of this problem and they didn't need to die here, them dying doesn't matter because it's part of nature. You know, like that, it's just something that happened to them, you know, like that. And while that is true, you know, you know, from a certain perspective, I also don't think that this spirit is exactly who they're saying. While I do think they were in the way of the crones, which is why the crones tried to kill them and did kill them. I do think that this spirit is not a good one in the sense to where if monsters came and infested the village right after saving the children, they wouldn't care, you know, or wouldn't do anything to defend that, you know? So to me, instead of just starting the ritual or saying, actually, I'm going to kill you, I feel like I might tr uh, trick the being in the tree and destroy it. I offer raven feathers. Once I was free, I shall be free once more. I offer your remains. Once I was flesh, I shall be flesh once more. No, I should draw your blood now. Let the horse drink it, but I won't. I don't trust you. I have to stop you, destroy you. Betrayed. Mm. There we go. Diamond dust. Didn't look like we got a much of a good reward for it. Hey Well, that was that. Maybe I didn't make a good decision. Maybe it's a decision that you guys <laughs> won't care for as much. But to me, I feel like I did the best thing regarding the situation. Um, you know, Let's go. dude, what is your problem? Bro, get, get out of here, bro. Where's my where's my goat? Get the freak out of here. Where's my goat? I need my goat. Roach, there you are. That's my good Good girl. There you go. Mush. Oh. Hello. You made it out here. Oh, you found the werewolf. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where something lurking there. A spirit had possessed the tree. An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Doesn't matter. Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said, I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. What does he have to do with the dagger? Does he have to kill somebody with it and he's gonna bring it back bloodied? Oh, he...
I thought he was about to kill himself. And I was like, homie, you're not going to be back if you do that. There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Or be his own. Two hundred XP. Don't tell me these are what represents the sisters. She's a weapon, young man. She's even lovelier in real life. Mm. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Ugh. Dang. Bro, there's no good of these women, bro. Someone's got to take them out. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. Don't eat them. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. Ugh, bugs coming out of their eye. Ugh. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. Anna? The A wife? ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. So Anna did live. She bears the mark. Wait. She's ours. Wait, the old woman is Anna? Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Wait, what? The grandma that's been taking care of these... These kids is Anna. She looks kind of old, doesn't she? For being the Baron's wife. I mean, the Baron doesn't look exactly young, but he, she looks older than him. How do you look different now? You look different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? Is that polymorphism? You know why I'm here. You know why I'm here. You know what I want. You shall dream of us and return for what you reject. They always come back. Yeah, I bet. You used me. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not free, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? Yes, I defeated one evil. So fortunate to have found so brave a knight, so able. <laughs> Bro, her body looked like raw meat. What do you want the kids for? Who was the spirit bound to the tree? I mean, I think we know what they wanted the kids for. They wanted to eat them, right? I thought they even talk about like broth and stuff. Who was the spirit bound to the tree? No, no. What do you want the kids for? 
What did you need the children for? We, we, they needed us for our care. Where are they? They are far away. Their troubles are over. Tell me about the woman I seek. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. I'm sure you did. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Sounds about Mischievous, right. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. I don't believe you. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. I don't know. She went out of her way to save somebody else when we were playing as her for a short time. So I still doubt she would attack them, you know, or, and be bad without reason. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. Is this another playing as her segment? We knew someone supposed to arrive. We read Beast and Trace. What just happened to her? Saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness. A mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the Elder Blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame. Oh. She fell into our hands. I'm going to use this as a non sensor trick. Hopefully, YouTube does not. Yeah. Why she did that? I take her feet. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it. Oh, nah, that's why. Oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. Oh, and she's already gone. He ain't no way he didn't see her just then. Okay. Oh, crap. I still feel like I can just kind of hounds of the wild hunt. I feel like I can just kind of do however I want. How is she? like doing that how does she have these powers i mean i know she's not a witcher do you i assume you don't need to be a witcher to have the you know magic or whatever oh so our goal isn't actually to isn't actually to kill anything it's to run i could just keep doing this can't i no reason to actually fight anything as her.
you got seen, bro. There's no way. It's been a while since we've seen him. Time later. Okay. You tried to kill her, tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood, the taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood, extraordinary girl, but you know that. Such a shame she fled. Nah. I won't let you get away with it. I'll find her and come back for you. I feel like this will start a fight right now. I'll find her and come back for you. I won't let you get away with it. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true, but now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if... <laughs> Anna Stringer, okay. Well, hold up. This was her. Gerald did not meet uh did not meet Anna Stranger, the Bloody Baron's wife, when he visited Crow's Perch. Sometime before his arrival, this woman had disappeared in unexplained circumstances along with her daughter Tamara. Geralt did, however, receive a detailed description of the missing woman. Anna was a comically 40-something woman with green eyes and hair dark as raven wings, which she kept tied in a tight bun behind her head. Geralt discovered that Anna's martial life, uh, uh, marital life had, had not been working out as well as she might have hoped. She had recently been pregnant but lost her child for unknown reason shortly before her disappearance. Did her hair turn white? When Geralt pushed the Baron about the matter, the ugly truth finally came out. Desperate and miserable, Anna had fled, taking Tamara with her after her drunken husband beat her badly. The Baron was convinced Anna had miscarried because of his actions, but Geralt was not so certain about this. He couldn't stop thinking about the strange talisman meant to ward off evil power Anna had received from the Peller. The situation grew even more de entangled when Geralt discovered that after fleeing Crow's Perch, Anna had been taken captive by some gigantic beast who carried her off into the darkness. I think that was one of the sisters. As if that weren't horror enough, eyewitness testimony claims her hands had burned with a strange glowing symbol shortly before this. Perhaps this was precisely what the talisman Anna had received from the Peller was meant to guard against. Tomorrow only deepened Geralt's sad understanding of her mother's situation. The woman had uh, decided to flee together because they had enough of the Baron's drunken rages and beatings. Anna hated her husband so much that she was ready to do anything in order to be free of the man and the child he had put inside her. Geralt put the facts together and realized the old woman in the swamps was in fact Anna, the Baron's missing wife. He also learned that the signs on her hand were symbols of the pact she made with the crones in order to get rid of her unwanted child. Geralt's suspicions were confirmed shortly thereafter. The curse, the curse afflicting the unfortunate woman was indeed the crone's doing. Anna had turned to the ghastly sisters because she did not wish to birth the Baron's child. The crones granted her wish in, in their, uh, granted her wish in their own twisted way, with a curse which made the fetus inside her wither on the vine, taking Anna's life energy with it. In despair, she turned to the Peller, who made her a talisman to hamper the evil magic's influence. Anna had lost this during her fight with the Baron and was thus rendered defenseless against the crone's magic. That's why she started turning old. After that, the war was free to happen. The marking on her palms began to burn and a fiend dragged her to the heart of the Crookback Bog, where she paid back her debt as the crone's slave. Dang. 
Bruis. The crone known as Bruis was the middle of the three demonic sisters in terms of age, but the first in terms of size. Bruis was said to be a master concoctor of magical mixtures and in the more ghastly legends was said to know over a dozen different recipes for human soup. Imlareth, a general of the wild hunt and frequent guest in Geralt's nightmares, had been chasing Ciri for quite some time, uh, striving to deliver her to his ruler, Aridin. This powerful and brutal warrior had fought in the countless battles and campaigns for conquest waged by uh, Ain El in other worlds. He prized physical confrontation above all else, seeking out direct bloody skirmishes where opponents pit their strength, agility, and train against each other in quest of the death. Weavis, the, though the youngest of the three crones, the Weavis was not uh, one jot less ugly or evil than her sisters. It was she who wove their magic tapestries of human hair, gathered as tribute from the young children of nearby villages during their cutting ceremonies. These tapestries were how the worshippers of the Ladies of the Woods made contact with and paid homage to their deities. Wispus. The crones of Velen were not just old, they were literally ancient, having been around since the region of the first human kings, and possibly even since the coming of the elves. Of the three ghastly sisters, Wispus was most ancient, or at least claimed uh, so claimed the swamp dwellers whispered legends. Whispered for so if spoke too loudly, the crone would hear it, for she demanded tribute in form of human ears, which she hung from trees and throughout using prim, uh, primeval magic, she heard all that happened in the swamp. Hmm. Okay. Dang. Ah. Huh. That was a lot. So this is... But the kids are gone. This sucks, man. All the kids are gone. And I bet you there's no way to save them now. I bet you if I did, uh, if I did actually go along with the spirit, then I would have been able to save them, but I couldn't. I don't regret what I did, though. I do think this was the right decision, but sometimes that kind of thing happens. You know, to me, I feel like Geralt is somebody who would have destroyed the spirit and tried to save the sisters, but there was no uh, save the, the children, but there was no way to save them. By the time you get there, it's just a cutscene. You can't like there was no way around it. I hope you guys are enjoying the higher quality. I know most people probably don't care. I've just kind of seen intermittent con comments about it, but I'm trying to render these videos in 1440p now, which is 2K. 4K is just kind of unnecessary to me. Most people probably don't care about that anyway, and it makes these long videos take a long time. Like I'm talking like five plus hours to render sometimes, you know, because especially since I'm mostly playing action based stuff and everything. But yeah, it takes it makes these series take a lot longer to render, um, but it still just takes way too freaking long if I do 4K. So I do hope you guys don't mind uh, 2K. It's definitely there's definitely a noticeable difference um compared to 1080p at least in my eyes it's fine i think it's worth it for if it makes the viewing experience a bit better especially since you know that's what i'm playing the game in so it's nice for you guys to be able to see it how i'm seeing it even though i know youtube's uh codec kind of like lowers the quality of the videos anyway what the freak is that oh that's a deer ye death be gone you blasted mutant where's all this hate for witchers coming from where I'll tell ye where. One of yous came here, ate his fill for two days while he thunk things over. Then he says he'd do us a favor and kill our monster. What's your price? I asked. But he said he wanted no coin, for he saw we'd none to offer. Waffling, what did he want then? So what did he want instead of coin? Said for pay he'd take something I had that did not yet know about. Then he left. And here the door swung shut behind him. Me lass started wailing. What's these tears, I asked. Oh, I can't bear it, she says. I'll kill the horsen. Go on. Full girl wept that some beast was gonna kill the witcher dead. Ye howling for a mutant, I said. Then she told me, told me, Bugger had bewitched her with his evil eye, seduced her, and that were to be his prize. A witcher's bastard. Oh, witchers are sterile. If he's really a witcher, you don't have a thing to worry about. We can't sire children. Thank the gods any more of you and we'd be lost. But this one, he beguiled me daughter, rutted her neath me own roof. That I can't forgive. Tell me where he is. Take care of this for you. Cemetery. Went there to slay the monster. Hope the corpse eater guts that fornicated freak. Did he really do that? Ruffians That's kind of crazy to me. Horses all. 
Sorry, Roach. Go ah, back. Sir. Hold up. That's kind of crazy if he actually did that. It's nearby, too. Okay, let's find out. I hear some monster. Yeah. Okay. Come on. There you go. Got him in half. That can't have been just the monster. Hmm. Strange. Was it somebody pretending to be a witcher? No. I really doubt it. I really doubt it. Oh. Thank you, thank you. You came just in time. A moment more and that ghoul would have filleted me like a flounder. You're Actually, no witcher. I'm sure I should have intervened. Your combat style, it's new to me. Should have just observed. Where'd you complete your training? School of the Snail? But then where'd you get your wolf's head medallion? You're a fake. You're the real thing? A witcher? Mm-hmm. What gave it away? That I didn't wet my trousers at the sight of one lousy ghoul? Answer the question. Where do you get the medallion? I bought it from a traveling peddler. Oh, the villagers are coming. Don't tell him about me, please. Oh, I'm telling him. I'm snitching. Monster slain. Oi, what's this? Two witchers? We only hired one. Oh, I'm telling him. Took two witchers to kill this ghoul? You're a phony, bro. I'm not sympathizing with a phony who's got the nerve to be wearing my medallion, my schools, bro. Only one here. And not to mention, you slept with the dude, the dude's daughter. And <laughs> so shit. But the thing is, she didn't do no. I bet you she willingly did that with him. She willingly did it, but regretted it afterwards. Maybe he planted the seeds, you know, and she, that's not what she wanted. She wanted the night, but not the commitment kind of thing, you know, but he got, you know, got ahead of himself and planted the seed. And that's why she's so mad, rightfully so, too, you know, and I think that's why, you know, and he, he perceived being a witcher, you know, in order to get with her in the first place, you know, even if he was kind of ugly and stuff. And she's using the excuse to her father, who seemingly already hates witchers, you know, to say that he did the magics and to take control of her mind and stuff like that. You know, dumb. Very, very dumb. There's only one here. Only one witcher here. This man's a charlatan. Travels from village to village cheating people. No, no, it's not like that. I can explain everything I can. He's a crook, a fraud. Oh, we've laws for this kind. Special punishments. Thank ye for exposing him, Master Witcher. Take him to the village elder. Let him go. I kind of feel like no remorse here. Like, what benefit do I have to let him go? Oh, I'm going to miss out on a quest because if I let him go, he'll show up in some other random city layer in the game. Get, get, get... I don't know, that's kind of extreme. But, but get, get murked, Bozo, I don't care. Take him to the village elder. Of course, elder can decide what to do with this scoundrel. Last cheat came through, fellow pay him with shaved coins. We lopped his hands off. I'm sure your elder takes care to make the punishment suit the crime. Ought to start by taking his sword, tossing his medallion in the fire. Farewell. Yeah, you don't deserve it, honestly. And I don't think that's morally wrong for letting him get, you know, getting sent to out like that, because honestly, he didn't deserve it. He, he's making a mockery of your, you know, not to, like your school. He's making a mockery of, you know, your people. He, he's making a mockery of the people who, you know, take the time to believe in interesting. witchers. Interesting. What, what's interesting? These are the same footsteps from before. What are you talking about? What's interesting? But yeah, I, I just think I don't like anything that guy stood for and whatever kind of bogus excuse he was going to give just wouldn't be worth it to me. I'm kind of wondering if uh, what the dad says um, changes now, now that hopefully he knows that it was just a phony who uh, 
a phony witcher who who did that and wasn't like all of us you know i'm spinning towards me okay where is he what at, are you at? Stop you think what do these people think what do these people think that witchers are uh hopefully i can find him again hear about the contract hear about the contract any idea what this monster is nay but proper huge it must be slaughtered no less than a dozen wolves ripped their guts out but left lots uneaten means malice rules it makes it kill howls and bellows nights something fierce folk are feared i didn't know there was a contract here though hunger grips the village our reward let's talk could tend to the beast for you but not for free how much do you need hmm how about three fee that's definitely a, a big up huh? where are we to get something like that you... all right 300 is reasonable 300 is reasonable it's a lot but truth be told job like that drop your ask a couple of crowns and we'll be set man okay let's do 75 let's do 80. that's the sum we can agree to i'll tend to it fine i'll take care of it fortune smiled upon us when it brought you here good hunting to ye i don't Wild hunt take them all we what what is this actually 20. yeah i'm not dealing not doing that just yet contract swamp thing that sounds really cool a swamp thing no no, no, no. i do want to talk to the, the baron though we need to go and talk to the baron and finish things off that's what we need to do i can always come back to this and i definitely will plenty of contracts left to do and plenty of contracts left to see but i think the baron has waited quite long enough to know what's happened to both his daughter and his wife now and the wife is definitely going through it now you know, and it seemed like she was still alive, though, at the end, I, if I'm remembering correctly. She still lived, but it seems like she's now just a slave. But yeah, call it a hunch, but I have a sinking feeling that we're going to be able to kill them in the end. Something tells me we're going to be able to do that, because I don't think they would have brought up these people and have them be such a prevalent force in Velen and not be able to dispose of them after showing what kind of character they are. At least that that to me makes the most amount of sense. To me, it seems like we will be able to take care of them. Uh, I don't know when it'll be. It might be a little bit later in the game. I don't know how prevalent this game is. Like when we go to Lev uh, Velen, will we complete the story stuff here? Will we ever come back here? Will the story itself naturally bring us back to this area? Or will we just keep going from place to place normally? Like, I'm sure we'll be able to go back ourselves, you know, but yeah, Baron. What's up, man? I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Let's play Gwent. I know where your wife is. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. No. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. It's true. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Didn't say that, but you're a big part of it. My opinion doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. So tell me how it was with you, really. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story.
Unless your sob story, man, about how you Danny beating your wife wasn't was just your sight. fault. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. Mm -hmm. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. I grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. Dang. So your fault after all. I don't even feel it. I mean, I know people want me to exhaust all the dialogue options, but I, I don't want to say that. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How do you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. I found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the ass by a horse. Oh my goodness. I to find the bugger to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, Something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Dang. Seems they call you bloody for a reason, that I'll say. Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. What did Anna say? Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit, hysteria, threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her, felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her, and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Ooh, y'all were not meant for each other. We survived those years. But we did. Now, as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Seems you deserve each other. You're at fault. I'm gonna be honest. I do think he's at fault. Like, re realistically, realistically, Anna shouldn't have cheated. You know, and I know, I, I know it's a thing that happens when people go off to war or battle and stuff like that. It it happens. It's not a good thing, but it's some. It's a reality. You know, but she shouldn't have cheated. Real talk. She shouldn't have cheated. But and even after that, though, they split up. She left to, and she took the kids and she left. You know that that was that should have been the end of that he had no right to go and kill the person 
she loved and beat him to the dogs. That is, that's bad. There's no defending that. Whatever she, you could say about her cheating, cheating on someone doesn't warrant death. That honestly, at that point, if, if you like, if she broke your heart by cheating, then you honestly should have left. Honestly, you should have banished her. You know, if you're the Lord of this domain or whatever, the Baron of this domain, you could just ban her from living here, you know, but he didn't want to do that. He wanted revenge. So he took it in a place that really hurt, attempt to really hurt her. And he can say he didn't go there to do that, but he knows he has this side of him. He knew he had that anger deep inside him. So I do want to say he's mostly at fault. He should never, he should have never done that. Got only yourself to blame, I think, leaving her to fend for herself. How was I not to? I was a soldier. I had no choice. There's always a choice. Ah, sod it all. I see all my prattlings for naught. You won't bring Anna home, I know that. Will you betray to me how she landed in that bloody swamp? Your wife is with the crones. Your wife is with the crones as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? What crones? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. Oh, I've heard folk speak of them, but thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. Oh, nah, it's How real. How on earth did she land there? A fiend captured her. They fled by night. They were riding past the forest when a beast serving the crones attacked them and abducted Anna. A beast? Bloody hell. And Tamara? Was she hurt? No. Oh, thank the gods for that. So, Annie? What happened to her? The creature carried her deep into Crookback Bog. Didn't harm her, though. In fact, Anna seems content there. Content? What is this tripe, Witcher? What in bloody blazes is she doing in that swamp? She made a pact with the crones. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. I wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp. I feel like this is a big decision. This is a big moment. Do what you want. They're absolutely going to get murked. I wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? No, you Probably wouldn't. not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. Yeah, let's play Gwen. We had a deal. Time you fulfilled your end. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now, what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Did they say how long ago this was, too, by the way? I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're Oh, we actually- What? What the freak? I got attacked during the cutscene? What? <laughs> I got attacked during the cutscene, bro. That's not fair. Come on. <laughs> okay. Oh.
Oh man, that bleed damage is crazy. And I can't heal or anything. I'm definitely dead. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, and Siri died during the battle. <laughs> and Siri died during the fight. <laughs> okay, this th that actually makes this pretty dangerous, you know, because we can't heal. I don't know why I got hit with the bleed effect during the cutscene. Like that that's crazy. Have you guys seen that before? Okay. Okay, I need to spam the dodge more. And it does have some kind of spitting ability. Come on, sit down. Over here, somewhere where I can actually hit you reasonably. Don't get stuck in the trees, please. Come on. Okay. There we go. Come on. There we go. Not a bad fight. Bro, you have a knife on you. Oh, crap. Damn it. I can't leave him like that. Uh, okay. And I assume we got to get up through here. Uh, no. It says we can mount a horse. Top of the tower and rescue the Baron. Okay. Uh, here? Oh, no. Now I see. Right here. We can climb up this part, right? Thank you, yellow paint on rocks. There you go. Finally using that. Those are got a chicken head. Oh. They should use that dash thing. Chop its head off, please. There we go. She did it, though. <laughs> Couldn't even put it back. I'm glad we're actually seeing the story of what happened instead of, you know, just being told in a cutscene by the Baron, you know, what happened. I know it's symbolizing the same thing, but like, I'm glad we actually get to see it. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. Uh, we're even. 
You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. Hmm. We're just going to Novigrad. Looks like that's like our final real thing to do here in Velen. It seems like we really do need to just migrate to Novigrad she for a while. and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. How does Siri get past the uh, Redanian blockade? Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Siri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Who was the letter to? No one. It was like this one. Show that to those pricks at the crossing, and they'll let you pass. This for me? See no reason to make things harder for you? You seek your child, this letter will help. Where'd you get these letters? Where'd you get these letters? I haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. Seems so. Gotta go to Novigrad. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But if you could... I'll help you. Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I'll help No you. more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. You convince me, I'll go. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What? What? What is that? What the? There you are. You escaped again. Uh. Sorry, we was never here. What the freak is that? What was that? You tell me, man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast, but he seems a man to me, just hideous as idle shit. Where do you get the name? Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange, but he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him, he sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Doesn't look like a monster. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. <laughs> Nothing better to play for. Must have been pretty desperate to play for that. Ah, quit your carping, smart ass. Someone wagered him and we played. If anyone was desperate, it was the bugger's former master. Tell me how it happened. Funny story. How so? Went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. 
He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. <laughs> Funny indeed. Hilarious. Real side splitter. Oh, you wouldn't know a good tail from a runny fart. <laughs> Bro, now you've got a court jester. Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye, though I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. As that works. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. Well, I'm sure Geralt is already at least a bit better than the Baron was. So we gotta meet them over by there. Hmm. Some of you, you guys did not seem to care for Geralt's new haircut. <laughs> I saw the comments. I was like, dang, bro. Return to Crookback Bog. Dang, dude, it's gonna be crazy, man. So I'm kind of conflicted in, in some capacity here. Part of me is wondering again, I, I haven't asked this in a while, but what kind of length do you guys prefer for the Witcher 3 videos? Mostly just because I've kind of been sticking with an hour and a half recently, and sometimes if a video is usually two hours, it's honestly because I was either just that invested in like, I, it was the getting the reaching the, like the actual stopping point was kind of awkward. So I kind of just kept going, you know? So I did reach a good stopping point around the hour and 30 minute mark. I don't know how much I've cut out up to this point. I don't know how long the normal video is going to end up being. I do small edits while live, like while recording. So like there's not usually too much like eh, malarkey. I got to get out. But let me know what kind of length you guys prefer. And maybe I could start doing that. I, I know like some of my contemporaries and stuff like like some of you guys like upload like three or four hour long videos. And I'm going to be real. Maybe I just got older, but recording for three or four hours just Feels like it would take a lot out of me. <laughs> honestly, even though my streams are that long, if you've been to any of my streams, you know, we honestly don't play the game for that long. But if you guys would actually not mind, like say a three hour video or something like that, let me know. Give me a good range you think would be better, like hour, an hour and a half, two to three hours, two to two and a half, maybe hour and a half to two. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you did make it this far, thanks so much. It really does mean a lot. I really appreciate you guys supporting this series. It really does mean a lot. I'm thinking about switching up how I do it. Um, I know The Witcher 3 is probably the best performing series on the channel next to Elden Ring, at least at the moment. So maybe I should start getting these videos up a little bit uh, quicker, like more frequently. Um, I think my own thing is kind of like, I wouldn't necessarily mind going and doing, say, this Baron mission right now. But if I do want to get this video out, especially since I'm rendering it out in a higher quality than I was before, it's going to take just another an hour extra just to render it. You know, and that's just rendering, not including editing or anything like that. So we'll have to see. But I, I'm just more pressed for time. I think I'm only feeling pressed for time because I always get comments. Like as soon as the Witcher video goes up, more Witcher, please. And, you know, and it's, and it's obviously, you know, nothing bad, of course, or anything that but it does and when i see that really frequently it makes me feel like i need to be constantly trying to pump out new witcher stuff you know because people seem to really enjoy it which i'm honestly super happy about but you know i just want to be able to do it at a certain pace i know something like I, like the comments have let me know and you guys actually count down the days you know for better or worse you count down the days 
how long it takes me to upload sometimes uh, the new withdrew videos. And I do think it's not right to make you guys wait a week, you know, for it or even five days is a lot. It's like, dang, you're a let's player. Why are we only getting one episode th this week? You know, even though I don't have an editor, it's still crazy. You know, I, I do think that it should be more like Witcher, Mass Effect, Elden Ring, Witcher, Mass Effect, Elden Ring. You know, that's how I, I, I think it should be. Or maybe it should be Witcher, Witcher, Mass Effect, and then Elden Ring. But I don't want any side to be waiting a super long time. I don't want someone to have to wait five days for a video, you know, but at the same time with, with two series going on, you know, or three series going on Sorry. when you include Elden Ring, if I do a Witcher, it's probably going to be at least three days before you see another one, just because Mass Effect needs its day and Elden Ring needs its day. You know, so it's like I'm doing my best here, but sometimes these things just happen, you know, uh, while all trying to not lose my mind. <laughs> but uh, I think that's going to be it for me here. I do need to get this video out. It's kind of looking cloudy and look like it wants to throw down. But hey, I think it still looks beautiful anyway. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you haven't already, of course, hit, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment. It really does help your boy out in the algorithm, you know, and I said it already, but subscribing to the channel will keep you notified for when the next episode of The Witcher 3, Mass Effect and Elden Ring go live. Those are the series we currently have going on, unless you're watching this in the future and those series are long over, you know, <laughs> but yeah, that's what's going on at the time. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified for the next one and help us reach our goal of 50,000 subscribers by the end of summer. This is this outro is terrible in the video thank you guys for watching i hope you have a good one i'll see you all next time